Okay, hello everyone. My name is Sid Saltung and uh, we're here tonight for our next Haircut Live tutorial on our lockdown series and we're really excited. Um, I'm really excited about this because it's actually one of my favorite haircuts I used to do when I used to work at Vida Sassoon, especially in their academy in Los Angeles and also in London. So this is a graduate bob and it's really focusing on more or less uh, a classic version. So really focusing tonight is on the foundation, talking about the uh, hand positioning, the technique of course, the precision of the sectioning, and also the cutting angle. And then at the end, of course, is the finishing. Not just with like products or anything, but the actual cutting itself on how to refine the line that we're gonna be creating, which is the perimeter. And also just to really almost do one of my favorite techniques, just to soften your graduation. All right, so we're gonna just wait about you know, a couple minutes. Just want to give uh, you know a few uh, few of the members that normally uh, watch us uh, to uh, come and join us for tonight's session. So just to uh, let everyone know, if anyone is new to what we offer here, for since the very first lockdown in the UK, which was about March 23rd, we uh, all throughout 2020, we've actually done over a hundred free live video uh, haircut tutorials, we've also done wet shaves, beard designs, uh, product knowledge, lectures, everything. So just to really show support to all the students, to all the barbers, to all the hairdressers that are stuck in lockdown throughout the world and trying to keep you guys motivated, inspired, and a little bit more, uh, a little more of a case of positivity thrown into the mix as well. So I'm really excited about tonight's live video tutorial. I'm a bit nervous because it's like I haven't done this haircut in so long that it's, uh, it's really cool. Um, of course, what we also did today was also I'm still doing my one-to-one -one sessions with my favorite camera person. Her name is Jennifer. So I took her through the one side where we're going to take a closer look in a little bit. Just to, uh, just to worry about, like I always worry about being, uh, taking too much time with my haircuts. So I don't want to keep anyone, uh, you know, uh, making sure that I have a sleeping bag or anything. I don't want to keep you guys too, uh, too late with this haircut tutorial. All right, so Jennifer, all right, you know my favorite question, yeah? Mm -hmm. Is anyone watching yet? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yes, there's about 40 odd people oh, perfect. watching. Um, a few people saying hi, Simon Davies saying hi, um, John Holford saying hi, Sid. Um, someone else saying hi, but I can't read the name. And he's also asking, how are you? How are you, Sid? Someone actually asked if I'm doing okay. Yes. yes who asked? <laughs> I can't read his name because um, it's it, name. because it's written in another, um, another, another language. language. Oh, yeah. Okay. I was like, <laughs> <can't read> his name. <laughs> um, are you, you just getting jealous that he asked how I was doing? Yes. <laughs> so, yes, I have one fan. <laughs> he said, how are you? So it could be either or oh, both. Okay. <laughs> Yes, I'm actually doing really good. I'm actually, uh, I'm doing a lot better, I guess. It's just because, one, I get a chance to do hair. And uh, uh, Jen and I, we've actually had quite like a lazy day today, haven't we? Mm, yes. We didn't do anything too crazy. Actually, I made cookies for Jen today. Mm -hmm. So uh, I made a nice video for Sid. <laughs> yeah, so if you go to my Instagram page, Sid Sartani Academy, you can see the new reel that Jen made for me. So there's... <laughs> And the worst thing was because if you watch the reel, watch the video, uh, the whole time I was in the other room and I could hear her making this video and I thought the whole time she was taking the piss out of me. And so I was getting really upset. I almost cried until I saw the video and I thought I could actually see uh, the beauty of the video. So big thank you to Jen for making that video. <laughs> Sid the Baker, someone called you. Sid the Baker. New Academy, Baking Academy. <laughs> yes, Sid Baker, yes. Uh, but guys, remember, I mean, that's the only thing I pretty much make. I mean, I actually have like, I think five things I can make now off the top of my head. So I'm really, you know, I, I learned how to cook last year. So, okay, I'm going to have to get started with the haircut just because of, uh, there's a lot to it. So I'm just wetting it down. Got compliments for your tash. <laughs> Oh yeah? yeah? Hey, the mustache is back. I don't care if anyone doesn't like it, especially my sister or my friend John, it is here to stay, all right? So it's my old man's stash, so. 
Okay, so let me take you through this journey of this haircut. So, now the graduated bob, okay? Now, um, the other night I did a bob with graduation, so it's gonna be a lot different, okay? Now with this haircut, it was actually especially when it was first, especially designed, all right? Or the influence of it all, especially. Now, we'll take you back through time. Now first, during the 1920s, of course, the haircuts were being bobbed. During the 19, from 1920 to 1929, there was about 2,000 girls going into barber shops each day to get the hair bobbed, all right? So like the flapper look. Now, of course, in the 60s, with when Vidal Sassoon kind of reinvented the bob, and also taking variations going from one length into graduation, especially with the bobs. The influence of this was especially after a chair. All right, so if we look in, especially if you anyone's familiar with the Bauhaus school design, all right, taking influence from a Bauhaus chair. This is where this haircut actually comes from. Now we're gonna just turn it around a little bit here so you can see from the profile. Now this is this this is the side that I took Jennifer through the one-to-one -one training with today. So she created going from 45 degree angle, then going into the line. So we will be going back over the haircut later on when it's fully completed, just to make sure that it has a fluid shape, especially for both sides. Now with this haircut, we're now going to be starting in the back section. Okay, so it's going to be really, really focusing on precision work here. So nervous. Uh, was it nervous for you to cut it, Jen? Uh, no, because I didn't have 50 people watching me, so it's oh, okay. all right. <laughs> okay. Now, just as a friendly reminder, a couple things that we're doing that we've added to these live video tutorials. Now, please, we also have a star where, you, where if you want to help us continue doing this, two things you can do to help us do uh, these, continue doing these free live video tutorials. We're doing about three to four per week. All right, and we're going to keep it going for as long as we can, right, Jen? Yeah. Now, what you can do is, if you, you can actually uh, help donate, all right, to help keep these live video tutorials. Once again, uh, we purchase new equipment for the uh, videos, uh, also the mannequin heads. We need a lot of mannequin heads, all right? So please, if you could donate anything, please purchase stars, and they're right down at the bottom. If you uh, just purchase some stars, and it will also help fund uh, the mannequin head uh, donation box here, you might say. <laughs> now, the other thing you can do is please, please start sharing these live video tutorials. We want this education to go out to many, uh, especially students, barbers, and hairdressers to help them during this lockdown uh, time, especially this COVID uh, pandemic. It's a, bit, it's a bit upsetting for a lot of people. So I was just trying to, let's just pass on some education uh, to help keep them motivated and to keep them inspired. So if you could please help us out, guys, that'd be absolutely brilliant. All right then, so let me get started with the haircut. Now, what I'll be doing, taking Now, I will be, sorry, it's just uh, the studio lights kind of really dry off the hair a little bit. So I will be taking first a vertical section. Now keep in my hands, my fingers pointing at a 45 degree angle. And I'm working inside my fingers or palm to palm, especially if you're American. That's a, a quite an American phrase. A lot of people saying hi. <laughs> Hello everyone. Come on, Jen, shout out their names. <laughs> okay, so. Let me just get the angle right and then I can scroll. Um, Queeros Ali Queeson saying hi, Sid. Katrina Thompson saying good evening, guys. Hi, Katrina. Hello, Katrina. <clears throat> Aviv, Avivika saying hi, Shalom. How are you doing? Good evening, Sid, Jan, colleagues. <laughs> <laughs> um, Gemma Limoli saying hello. Robert Morrison saying, hey, Sid. Barry Hello. Stevens saying, hi. Hello, Barry. <laughs> Barry is my business partner. He is the most fabulous hairdresser in all of Leicester, Leicester City. And he owns a string of shops there. And he's the most fabulous man in the world. More fabulous <laughs> than me. Okay. So please 
Barry, send my love to yourself and to my German sausage, John, and uh, give him lots of love, all right? So please, uh, big wishes to all your staff at your hair salons in Leicester. Um, Robert Morrison saying, oh yes, it's <laughs> Sid the Baker. Luba Schenker saying, hello, Sid. Paul Taylor saying, hi, chap. Hello, Paul. And we've got a really nice message from Summer and Lola, Exmouth hairdressers and barbers saying, hey, you guys, I did my initial training with you back in September 2016. You are total, you're still a total inspiration. You have carried the flag for the industry without any pretentiousness and always given throughout these lockdowns and in between. Keep going, amazing. I'm afraid I've got to go cook ribs right now. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> oh, that, we're going to cry. Thank you so much for the lovely comments. Okay, everyone, just to let you know, what I'm doing is I'm actually pivoting my sections. So like a clock. Okay, it's going to end up here. Now my... You see, now I comb the hair. Carlos Diaz saying, I'm jealous, Jen, you get one-to-one -one with Sid. <laughs> well, believe it or not, you can actually get one-to-one -one training by Zoom, <laughs> all right, which we actually did our one-to-one -one training um, the other day with, oh, he's an amazing young barber called Callum, and he did an absolutely amazing haircut, so I couldn't be more proud of him. So he, we did one-to-one -one training. Now, we also are still offering that, so you could get one-to-one -one training with myself, all right, if you private message us and we can uh, organize it on Zoom. So, yeah. So, Jen, you know, unfortunately, she wasn't the, the only lucky one. So, yeah. <laughs> um, Carl is saying, hey, Sid and Jen, get this haircut crew, grad, <laughs> Bobby, Bob, chop. Good luck. We love the world. <laughs> Um, Tina Welsh saying hi, Sid. Luke Hello. Payton saying hi. Michaela Placinta sending kisses. Barry Stevens said you are. <laughs> Kumata saying super brother. Sid, do you think Paul Taylor Clinch said, Sid, do you think we will be the only people in suits again at the next year show? Uh, funny enough, you know what? Um, yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but next one, I'm gonna wear my black suit. So, but with my you, trainers, yeah. Are you gonna wear a suit? <laughs> I will wear a suit, but um, it would be black with some crazy color shirt and some <laughs> and my cool trainers, and probably some weird hat. So, all right, guys. So as you can see now, I'm still working with my with my. If you see the way, even my hand position is pointed, and that's pointed in that direction because I'm creating a triangle shape with my graduation. If you say also the way I comb it, I'm not combing it from underneath. If I comb it from underneath, it increases my elevation. So I want to comb it down. All right, so that I have complete control at my graduation. Comb it through. And then I'm going to take a couple more sections here. I know it's uh gra the graduated bob is actually one of my favorite 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 haircuts. Jen, I don't know if I ever told you uh, when I when I actually it was my first year of learning how to do uh, women's hair. Uh, what happened was I actually entered a competition, and uh, yeah, I, and I was like the youngest person there, and I did a graduated bob on my uh, oh, my, my ex sister in law, <laughs> and uh, and I never did a competition before. I never did it. And uh, I think I placed like seventh out of 100 people. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And I so, bad, I so badly wanted to win. I was like, it was such a, but the, I could see where, why the person won. And it was, at, it was for a, a company called Rusk. You know, I was really into their products at the time. So I'm I know keeping, that brand. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's uh, originally a Scottish uh, hairdresser. I think I know because you might have some products as well. <laughs> Do you have something else? No. I've seen the brand. No, I think we've seen it at Saudi's or something. Uh, Aviva's saying, did you, um, Sid, when you 
when you're cutting the bob, do you find one side easier to cut? Yes. Okay. Normally what happens is, normally, okay, I'm right-handed, my right side will be a lot easier. So what happens is, so my left side will always be a little bit tricky. Now to help with that, what I recommend, start on your left side. Because the more times you start on your tricky side, after a while, like practice, it will no longer be so tricky for you. So that's the reason why. Okay, so start start on your hard side first, over and over and over, and you'll see it's no longer going to be a hard side for you anymore. So. I thought you were going to say the trick is just to get someone else to do it. Well, that's, <laughs> well, that's what I had to do. <laughs> okay, so now I'm now going to be taking diagonal sections, and now what will happen... Um, I have to do this a lot, a little more quicker than what Jen was doing. Um, I'm like, I'm like a snail. Huh? I'm like a snail. No, no, no. <laughs> you don't look like a snail at all. <laughs> oh, you're talking about your hair cutting? Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think I look like a snail. But... Like Andrea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, actually, uh, we actually have a snail who lives at the house called it's Andrea. Good. It's my snail. It's actually Jen's snail. She actually owns it. And she owns me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so once again, um, I do normally what happens is with graduation, okay, you don't necessarily want to keep on soaking the hair. You want it to naturally build up, all right, because that's what graduation does is the build up of weight. So we want it to dry naturally so you can actually see the way the graduation is forming. So now, um, but because of the studio lights here, it like dries it a little bit too much. So it's kind of very hard for me to, uh, I have to just go near here, Jen. Let me find the camera. Oh, yeah. Jen hates when I do that. <laughs> okay, so I'm now going to continue. Making sure that I'm coming from the top, watching my elevation. And down. And final. Doop. Right there. Cool. But guys, please, once again, if you have any questions, please shoot them out to Jennifer. She'll be able to shout them out uh, like she means it. Mm -hmm. And she'll, you know, pass on the, the questions to me. Once again, guys, please, two things. If you could please start sharing these live video tutorials. We're doing this. Once again, we're not getting paid to do these. All right, so I'm investing my own money with the mannequin heads and with the, with the photography equipment to do these and try and get better and better. And uh, also, another thing you can do, if you look at the bottom of your page, uh, you can purchase stars. And that basically is donating uh, to our cause to help with these live video tutorials. So please, guys, don't be shy. Anything, any bit will help us, especially to buy you know, these mannequin heads. Now, a lot of people ask me where I get these mannequin heads from, and I actually get these from um, salonsdirect.com. And uh, these, are, so you can actually purchase these mannequin heads uh, there. Now, I also get a discount. So if you want to use my discount code, which is the code at the, when you check out, they ask you for a code for a discount, and it's SID, and you get 10% off. So every bit helps. That's why I, I buy a lot of mannequin heads uh, throughout the year, so, for my academy. Cool. Alright, so I'm just kind of just checking that real quick there, so, cool. Now I'm going to continue with this, still taking diagonal section. <laughs> continue, I'm watching my elevation. Watching my body position, so I'm not over-directing this at all. Sometimes I know, sometimes in some, some, you know, some colleges, they'll talk about it, just over-direct everything back. What happens is if you work with too much over-direction on a graduated bob, what happens is it's going to end up being too heavy. I'm going to keep this very low. Now, I'm keeping this very low because it's going from the graduation, 
almost getting into almost like a, a very low graduate into a one length feeling. And that'll be going towards the very tip of the front. Cool. So do we have any questions, Jen? No. No. No questions. Okay then. Jen, do you have any questions then? What is the meaning of life? <laughs> Thanks, Jen. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, what is the meaning of life? I think you know what? To love one another, to fall in love is a great thing. I'd have to say that. To love, to be loved, and to be nice to each other. And to do what you love to do. You know, for me. It's about teaching, about cutting hair, um, skateboarding, um, cooking now, especially for loved ones. I love cooking. Um, I love cooking for Jen, so it's always fun, especially when I don't poison her. Uh, <laughs> that's always a treat. And uh, let's see, what else? What else? It's about just helping and sharing knowledge to others. You know, one of the biggest things that I love doing is especially taking through a beginner or just sharing some knowledge of like a haircutting technique or just, just to be there for someone, you know? So, I think that's to me, is like part of the meaning of life there. Well, it helps for me. So now I'm over by the ear, I'm gonna just tap this a little bit, keeping that very low. Now I'm gonna continue. Still working with my diagonal sections. What's the meaning of life for you guys, huh? What, what, what gets you excited about life? <laughs> I'm just laughing at <clears throat> Chris the McLean said, why don't you do it on a real model? And then she said, you could give a haircut to the camera person. <laughs> but the only thing is Chris. Who's Chris, who's Christy, Christy. Christy, who's, who's <laughs> going to film us then? <laughs> yeah, and also I didn't have any hair. <laughs> Yeah, we wouldn't be able to do this haircut on Jen. She's, I think I have longer maybe hair. In, maybe in a year. Yeah, I have longer hair than Jen, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, I, would, I would love to work on real people, real models and stuff, but uh, we're under lockdown. And so that's why, especially when we work on real people, of course, we have to wear masks. And it, it just, things get more muddled, you know, and also the, the, the model has to wear a mask. So it just gets a little bit tricky. So I'm actually quite enjoying working on these the mag heads, to be honest with you. So, so I'm just gonna continue. Now we're going here. Yeah, no, I think. Me personally, I mean, I, don't, I actually, do you mind working on a manga head, Jen? Um, no, it's just a bit strange that it's like, neck is so hard, like you yeah. move, you, like you can't flatten the surface on the yeah. neck. Um, no, but it's... I actually don't mind it at all. I'm so used to working on them. Oh, we received 50 stars. Wow, <laughs> thank you so much. Andy Richlowski. Oh, thank you, Andy. <laughs> Every big counts, especially, uh, you know. Oh, another thing is, yeah, maybe I like working on models is because I don't have to buy them, uh, <laughs> you know. And then uh, I think uh, that's the thing. And they don't arrive in a box, uh, which, which these mannequins do. So I think, <laughs> I think the joys of working on real people. But, you know, in all fairness, what I love about working on mannequins, so one, they don't talk, <laughs> which is great. They don't yeah. show up late uh, for, the, for the shoot uh, or to, for the video. They don't talk, they don't smell, uh, well mine don't. Um, and also what happens is the, uh, uh, and they also have a lot more different length to work on, a lot, you know, where I can do whatever I want on them. So yeah, I quite, I quite like, I quite like doing my, my mannequins to be honest with you. Aviv said, Sid, you are young, in 10 years you will find love. With 10 years you will find love. With 10 years. <laughs> so, Jen, <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs> bye, Jen. <laughs> no more love for you, Jen. <laughs> In 10 years, you're going to have to wait for me for 10 years. Um, Gemma saying, so nice to see that you cut a bob the same way I do. I always thought I was too old school, not not over-directing. So, seeing this makes me happy. Yeah, no, it's Gem. 
Uh, Gemma? Yeah. Gemma, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Gemma, I think the thing is, it's because with this type of haircut, we want the hair to fall naturally. So when the client, all right, washes the hair, what happens is when they blow dry, we want to fall naturally in place. So if you over direct this too much, it would just want to be too heavy. So every time we over direct, all right, we keep weight and length. Okay. So that's usually one of the, one of the hardest things is like what, what, What's tricky, but especially when people do graduate bob, a lot of times what a lot of people do is just take vertical sections and just overdirect everything back. What happens is it then looks like Pluto, you know, like a puppy dog with these long, t long ears and short in the back. And what happens is there's no like fluid movement to it. So that's why um, by if that's working with too much overdirection. So then they start looking, mm, it doesn't look as strong. Um, so you want a nice fluid movement to the hair. And Gemma saying, oh my God, yes. <laughs> yes, Gemma. Gemma where, Gemma, where do you work? Where, whereabouts do you work? What part of the country are, uh, are I think from? Gemma is in New Zealand, am I right? I think it was her. <clears throat> it's in New Zealand. Um, Sheridan is asking, I oh know, Jet hairdressing. Hey! Sorry, confused you for someone else, little pictures. <clears throat> yeah, Jet Hairdressing Academy in Essex. Yes, so I work very closely with Jet Hairdressing Academy. So, meaning, so we work closely together to deliver the correct curriculums for our learners, for our barbing program, and also I'm gonna be doing a cheeky ladies, this is what I'm doing tonight, I'm practicing ladies cutting, because I get to do a live video tutorial just for their learners and staff, right? For a special little surprise for them. So I'm really excited about that. Mm -hmm. so, so Jet, how oh, I love Jet. All, both Jill's, the whole team there. Lynn, I love Lynn. She's in charge of the finances, which, I, you know, <laughs> I like that. And uh, so I love the whole team. So big shout out to Jet, Jet Hairdressing Academy. Did they have a, a question or anything? Uh, no, there was someone asking if you're doing, um, I can't find who it was anymore, uh, Sherid, Sheridan Kirton was asking, are you doing a slanted bob? Uh, yes, so that otherwise known as a graduated bob. So this bob would be triangular. So I'm working a triangle, I'm basically working triangle graduation. So triangle is a shape which is shorter in the back, longer in the front, and graduation is the technique. Mikhail Pilati is saying, hello, Sid. Hello. <laughs> so you can see, I'm just working very strong precision. This is more like a classic bob, so I'm not really going to do so much texturizing. All right, so it's not going to be all piecey and jaggedy. So I'm really working on very on strong strength and technique. And Do you just... think the smaller you take the sections, the nicer it comes? Yes. Yeah. So the smaller the section where you can see your guideline, the better it's going to get. Because mm -hmm. you need to see, you need to see your overall line. Okay, I'm going to continue. I'm oh, sorry, raise it up a little bit. There we go. Carlos said, um, "Are you jumping into forty-one? Are you?" In 10 years' time, you will be 51. Good number, gentlemen. <laughs> Peace out, crazy vegan. <laughs> with those vegan Carlos, have you been drinking with, again? Though? With those <laughs> vegan muscles. <laughs> Wait, what's going on, Carlos? Have you been drinking again? <laughs> with those vegan muscles, he said. <laughs> oh, Lord, Carlos. It's great to hear from you, mate. Um, okay, so... I'm going to continue making sure I'm thoroughly combing the hair. Oh, Aviv said, come on guys, everybody send 200 stars together. It will be the first. What, what do you say? <laughs> it, um, I think if I'm right, I think it, um, a few stars are free from Facebook when you sign up to it. Oh, perfect. And um, <clears throat> yeah, it's just <clears throat> one cent per star. So, yeah, so it's, it's literally, yeah, guys, it's not a lot of money uh, with the each star, so it's about you know, so it's one cent, so which is you know, American currency. So, uh, any bit of help, um, I believe Andy, you know, he was our first, uh, you know, first donor, which is great. Um, <laughs> 
the thing is, guys, what's great about this is if you donate, uh, whoever donates the most gets a free Zoom class with me. <laughs> so you got to be in it to win it, guys. So, so I'm going to continue. Now I'm just going to, I'm just still cracking on here, watching my elevation. Now, Coming down, watching my elevation. And here we go, I'm gonna keep this. That's cool, it's like you're doing, um, <clears throat> I can't find the word, like when you do like a round staircase, like you go around and cut. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna continue with this. So really, you might wanna keep it a little asymmetric as well. Aha. So one side is going to be a little bit longer, but it's going to be balanced internally with the graduation. Oh, okay. I thought you just messed it up and you were like, oh, it's just going to make it longer oh, on no. one side. <laughs> no, no, no. It's going to be <laughs> Jabi is asking, can, could I just go into the back with a long guard, like a number eight on the clippers? Um, you know what? Um, I'm not going to lie to you personally. I, don't, I wouldn't do that myself. But you know what? To, for the, um, for, but what, what my, my answer to that is, why not? Give that a try. You know, give that a try. Um, but it, um, you could get, you know, why not, you know, see what happens. You know, give that a try, see, you know. Um, I, I apologize, it's it's not something I would do myself. Uh, but, you know, I would be willing to give that, you know, a go myself, see, you know, maybe myself and Jen, we could do that during a uh, one-to-one -one session, you know, see if that works. But um, I think a lot of times with a lot of things that if to see if it works or not, um, just gotta give it a try. There we go. So I'm gonna keep this very, very well. Do you mind turning the head a little bit facing towards there? That, that one? Yeah. yeah. So so there's no yeah, of course. door behind. Yeah, of course. Oh thank you, Viv. You sent us some stars. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Much appreciated. <laughs> we uh yeah, guys, it's, it's not, trust me, it's not buying us any beautiful vegan food. It's actually just to pay for our mannequin head supply for these live video tutorials. I mean, personally, I mean, um, with these live videos, I mean, we've done, you know, over a hundred of them, you know. Um, we've done probably about 30 of them this year. And, um, and we're going to, and like, we did over a hundred of them last year. So we want to, like, we will be doing them. It's just that now it's just like, in order for me to keep on doing them, I do need a little help with the mannequin head situation. That's all. So. Okay, now. I'm keeping this. There we go. Yeah, Claire said, yeah, I've done that before. For the clippers. Oh, cool. Mm. There we go. So it's a little bit dry in the front, so I'm just going to just... Put these ones over here. There we go. Here she is, Luciana Barcelona. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I'm now going to do, all right, so I'm just going to actually just raise this graduation up a tiny bit here. And then you'll see, I will also be doing this when the hair is dry. I'm going to raise this on up. So, once again, your elevation controls your technique or the weight distribution in the hair. So if you want it to be a lot lighter, your elevation is higher. So what technique would that be that we mostly do? It's the most popular technique in hair cutting, layering. Because the layering, you're pulling it quite high. All right? So remember, your elevation controls everything. And continue. Raise this on up. A little bit higher. Cool. But how's everyone holding up in lockdown? How, how, are we, how are we doing? 
Jen was in a little bit of a cranky mood today. Why, why were you in a cranky mood today, Jen? Um, I don't know. I think I just took it a bit too easy today and the weather was really grey and rainy. And probably drank too much coffee as well. <laughs> <Six minutes. laughs> I kept on making her coffee. I know, Jen asked me the other day why I was, like, I, I, I jumped in there real quick to talk about why Jen was cranky because I was really cranky the other day because I quit smoking. But the, uh, unfortunately, um, I lasted about, what, three days, four days? Yeah. And then what happened was I caved in because I was, uh, I think I was really about, I think Jen was about to kill me because I was really irritable, discontent, and just annoying. Oh yeah, Andy's asking Sid how you're doing with the vaping. Well, now, okay, this is now, this is what's happened now. So, what happened was, so I decided to get a vape, and so I bought one from like Tesco or something, and then I went, I was jogging. So, I, I took it out of the box, and I put everything in my pocket, and of course my pocket didn't have zips, and so I lost the charger for the vape, so I couldn't use it. So I had to get cigarettes or fags. And then what happened was then, so I decided to buy a new vape this morning. And what happens is I bought the vape at Tesco and what happened was it didn't come with the charger. <laughs> so now what's happened now is I've actually asked, now this is how serious I am about giving this up. I asked one of my very close friends and also a person who's helped me out so much during lockdown. Uh, now he's a meditation expert. His name is um, Andrew Johnson. You can see he does... Um, Usually free meditation first thing in the morning. It's about like eight o'clock or eight thirty mm -hmm. on uh, yes. yeah, um, on Circles, Circles Live yeah. app. It's called Circles Live app, and he does this beautiful meditation. And it's a guided meditation, and he's helped me out so much. So I'm trying to convince him to do some hypnotherapy on me to really <laughs> cure my my addiction to um, uh, nicotine. So we'll see what happens. So. Oh, people remember. Um... <laughs> Who is it? Andy Richlowski said uh, tapping. <laughs> yes, the tapping. So Jennifer, believe it or not, uh, was actually, God bless her, she was an angel. She is a saint. I owe her big time. She was doing the uh, special tap tapping that was, was keeping me calm. Every three hours I was tapping him when he was going insane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was. <laughs> um... Oh, Sheridan is saying bored and bored. <laughs> You're bored, yeah. Oh. I know, it's, uh, oh, Carla's got a good point. Where's the music? I know, we were a bit worried about um, putting music on because we thought that maybe Facebook would actually have a copyright thing about the music or something. So we, we could, were worried could that chance we'd... it. Yeah. What do you guys want to listen to? Tell us. What's your favorite music? Darren, uh, oh, Carlos Diaz sent 130, 830 stars. <laughs> Carlos Diaz. Really? Oh, thank yeah. you. And Aviv sent another 100 stars. Oh, my God. Thank you, guys. I really, <laughs> oh, my God. This made me so happy. Darren Stewart says, still doing good, actually, but can't wait to open again. Oh, Darren. Oh, up in Glasgow. Hey, Dar dude. Darren Stewart. Yes. Yeah, yeah he's, he's... It's funny. We technically haven't met... I, I told you about him. Mm -hmm. He's he's actually said so we've been like a long story how we met online, but like we've just kept in contact and like oh we get along great. And, uh, <laughs> we just like it's funny we never technically met, but we um we just like always like and he's like one of the few barbers I actually like. <laughs> <laughs> we actually just get along great. I think Jen, when we're allowed to travel, we'll go to Glasgow and we'll visit yeah, him at the shop. Yeah, it's only about an hour. Still haven't been in Gla to Glasgow. I've lived here for. Yeah. Four years. I've been to Glasgow maybe three times, but always just for concerts or for Sid's seminar. Yeah, that's how that's how uh, myself and Jen we met uh, professionally was at one of my seminars. So she um, she became a fan and like you know she begged for my autograph and all that. And <laughs> Whatever. I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> she stole my comb. <laughs> I so. didn't, but fine. <laughs> All right, everyone. So, so that's basically uh, the, the the step one completed for anyone joining us. So I took uh, working inside my fingers, palm to palm, taking pivoting sections in the back, and then they continue to diagonal sections, working with higher graduation on the more higher of the head, 
Then when I get lower, I keep my fingers almost touching the plastic or the neck of the coin. Then what I'm now going to do is I'm going to put suitable product in. I'm going to quickly blow dry that, maybe just iron the ends. And then you'll see I'm going to be perfecting it, really making it look very spot on for you guys, okay? So let me get started. So Jen, if there's anything you want to maybe talk about or anything, or if you want to show the other side, uh, please go ahead. Yeah. Um... Kim Johansson saying, hey, looking good, bro. Hello, Kim. You right, dude? Uh, Luciana Vaselina saying, keep, keep it up, Sid. You can do it. <laughs> I think she meant about smoking. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> Andy Richlowski saying, wow. Um, cool. So, yeah, guys. So, now, just to let you guys know, we got some really exciting news. So for anyone that loves hair coloring, now we got some really exciting news that are, especially with, uh, we, we ordered new mannequin heads, and that uh, one's a bit more expensive with blonde hair. Um, do we have one? No, uh, no, we don't. Um, what are you looking for? Uh, oh, I was going to show the, the one, the blonde mannequins. Oh, it's and then the... <laughs> we have a new sponsor for the hair color, which is Mood Hair Color. And I'm so excited to be working with them. So... Hopefully you'll be able to see Jen doing some live video tutorials about hair coloring. I know she's been looking forward to this a lot. <laughs> Darren said, Barber, but this will be my first full ladies cut on my mum when restrictions lift and I can't wait for you both to pop down this way. Oh, definitely. <clears throat> so, uh, Darren, w w are you going to give me a glass of Ouija kiss? Even I know what that is. Oh, you do? I think as you told me. Oh, because but... I told you, yeah. Because I used to live in Glasgow. And uh, I was very... No, no one gave me a class which in case, though. <laughs> um, Sheridan's asking, whereabouts are you from, both of you? Okay, so I'm originally from, uh, from New York, where um, I moved around a lot for work and everything when I worked at Big House soon. So I lived in California, I lived in Los, uh, Los Angeles, uh, London. Um... Virginia, I worked in uh, Philadelphia, so I moved around a lot, and uh, what happened was the, uh, so about 20 years ago, I moved to the UK, uh, I was working at the Vidal Sassoon Advanced Academy in London, and uh, I decided to stay, so uh, my, I have my barbering academy, which is based in Nottingham, England, I also have two barbershops that my, with my business partner, Barry Stephen, I mentioned him before, and uh, we, um, and that's in Leicester, Leicester City. So, and then we got some exciting news because we're going to be opening a new academy. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, so we're going to, well, I'm not going to say anything yet, but it's going to be a new uh, training creative studio where we're going to be doing photo shoots, video shoots, almost like very personalized training. Uh, so a bit more smaller classrooms, so more one-to-one -one tuition. And it's going to be a lot different. It's not even... It probably won't even look like a barbering academy. It's because we're going to do, it's more like a unisex. We're going to be doing ladies and, and coloring and men, all different type of courses, photography courses, like everything. So really cool. Uh, and it's just going to be like, in, in the way it's going to be, de de um, sorry, designed, it's like more of like a, it's like my, my creative mindset. So it's kind of like entering my mind, which is going to be some really cool from skateboards to uh, uh, just a, a wide selection of everything. So. I'm really excited about it. So hopefully that'll be opening up, um, hopefully this year. Where? Hmm? Where? Because someone is asking. Whoa. <laughs> I'm not going to say just yet. <laughs> well, I've said it already. So. Oh, have you? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, um, um, Sarah, he's asking whereabouts in Nottingham. Oh, it's in Nottingham? It's um, in Nottingham. It's in Sherwood. So just outside the city centre, like a 10 minute drive. Um, on Mansfield Road. You can't miss it. It's, it's a really nice, nice area in Nottingham. See, what football club are you? Hmm? What football club are you? What football club? <laughs> Aviv is asking. Um, I have to say Nottingham. I know it's going to sound weird. Probably Nottingham Forest. <laughs> uh, just because I lived in Nottingham for so long. Uh, that, that's the reason why, so... Okay guys, so what I'm going to be doing is, so just to let you know, the key thing is I put like a blow drying spray into the hair to keep it nice and smooth, and also a serum. 
okay? The reason why, one, I want to promote more shine and also a lot of protection. This mannequin, uh, it's a bit dry, I'll be very honest with you, so, uh, the texture, so I really want to give more of like a softness to it. But also the serum will also prevent, because I have to do a lot of dry cutting afterwards, it will help prevent it getting from too staticky. Okay, that's the reason why. Rob is asking, Rob KV is asking, how can I sign up for you for training? Okay, so now if you want me personally to do training, so at the moment, okay, I um, well, there's a couple of things. Uh, we're doing a one-to-one -one training on Zoom. So if you private message us, I can give you the information. Now, if you, and that could be uh, on anything. So um, that'd be Zoom. So we did our Zoom classes uh, last week, or no, this week, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, it was on Calum. Yeah, know? Monday. Yeah, Monday we yeah. did it. And uh, that went really well. We absolutely loved it. It was such a great, really great barber to work with. So we took him through the cutting techniques. Now, what happens is, so if you, if you want to do our courses, the best thing to do is if you private message us, and then you can speak to, we'll give you the email, and speak to our academy manager, his name is Ian. So he'll be able to take you through the journey on, uh, on how to book a course with us. So I'm just going to just turn this around a little bit. Carlos is asking, is anybody trying Veganuary? <laughs> How's it going? Well, that's a good question. So is anyone being good a vegan point. for January? Or Sid can't say Veganuary. There's no reason to. <laughs> he can't say it. Please stop, Please stop taking this out of me on my... <laughs> Now guys, just to let you know, I'm working with um, a flat brush. This is called a vest brush. And uh, this, the purpose of this, I don't want to use a round brush because I don't want to give it too much body. I still want to be able to, to check the haircut. So I just want a very slight amount of bevel to the hair. And yes, this is a Dyson blow dryer. So in case if anyone asks. That's the most asked question. Yeah. Is this a Dyson? Yeah. Is yeah. It any good? It's yeah. okay. <laughs> Until they sponsor us, that's my answer. It's okay. Then they sponsor us? Oh, it's amazing. You can't live without it. <laughs> now, I love this blow dryer for when I do, uh, when we do uh, London Fashion Week or we go to Paris Fashion Week because it's compact and it's really good. It's very, it's very quiet, keeps the hair in good condition. And it's really good for doing uh, shorter styles, and also really good with the diffuser, so. Do you guys like blow drying? I like it. Uh, I love blow drying, actually. Oh, Johnny David is saying, I'm just now reading about that cut in my school book. Oh, I, yeah. I learn better seeing than just reading, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Okay guys, just as a reminder, can you please help us out? Please start sharing these live video tutorials. And then <laughs> if you can start sharing, and also if you look at the bottom of the page, you can actually donate and help us with the mannequin head funds. <laughs> All right, help us supply the mannequin heads for these mannequin live videos. Fun. Please buy mannequin fund, mannequin charity. <laughs> please buy some stars, every bit helps. All right, so so far, who was, who was the most? Was it Car uh, Car Car Carlos? Carlos, yes. Carlos, Carlos Diaz, yeah. Yes. Um, Sarah Hughes is asking, will you soften the edges off at all? Most likely, probably not. I'm just going to really stick with precision. The reason why, Sarah, is because, because of this type of style, all right, I really just wanted to show a classic old school graduated bob. All right, I didn't, want to, I didn't want to go into any type of like texturizing, anything like that. So that's, that's, that's why I'm not gonna be doing that. But you'll see me really perfect with precision work to help. I could do, try and soften it almost very technical. Cool, so that's, that's the reason why, Sarah. Normally you could do point cutting. Um, if I need to soften any of the, if there's a weight line, I can do maybe a tiny, tiny bit of softening that just to break into the weight line. Nice and 
some warm in here. Is it? <laughs> I know I wore my jacket, I don't know why. Got a hairdryer on, the radiator next to us, all the lights. I know, the right? Sauna. Gemma saying love a bevel. <laughs> love a what? Bevel. Bevel oh, brush. <laughs> oh, bevel brush, yeah. <clears throat> Rob KV is saying okay, thank you, see you soon. And oh, thank you. Andy is asking what color is the hair? Good question. No. So yes, yeah, so <laughs> who knows? <laughs> I know it's a, it's like a violet brown. And it's a, I know it's an interesting color. It's faded a bit because we washed it quite a few times. And uh, I haven't used this mannequin head in about a year, so that's when it was colored. And uh, so it was kind of weird, so it was in it's, it's a really interesting color, actually. Hmm. So I'm continuing, guys. So I'm just still continuing. Carlos is it. saying, come on, Sid. We can you, Ari. You can do it. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> um, Darren Stewart is asking, are you using low heat or high heat? And what difference would it make? Okay, well, pretty much. Because of the mannequin head, I need to use a high heat, but a low speed. The reason why I'm using a low speed is because, um, so you guys can hear what I'm talking. Um, I'm using a high heat, the reason why is because one, these mannequin heads are, they, they can be quite thick and takes a long time to blow dry. So um, that's the reason why. So this is still a beveled brush, but it actually, um, it has like a little bristle on it. So this, this brush I got from Sassoon, which is actually one of my favorite brushes to blow dry with. It's absolutely brilliant. Claire said, my favorite shape to cut Sid Sossen. Love high and low graduated bobs. Precision is key. Oh yeah. Claire O'Brien. Um, where is everyone from in, in the world who's watching? Give a shout out to where you are. Come on, Jen. Scream it like you mean it. Come on, guys. Where are you from? Sid still hasn't bought a map, but he I will. Know. He will one day. I will. That's what <laughs> I need to do. I'll order it tonight. Uh, Andy said it's nice. The color is nice. Uh, it's interesting. It's a red can, red can shades EQ. Yeah. Yep. Um, Portland, Dorsey, Claire. Andy is from Gatwick. Oh, can we? Yeah. Oh, we Gatwick. know where that is. Yeah. <laughs> Sher Sheridan Curtin said from Philly. Philadelphia. Oh, my God. Jen, <laughs> we're going to have to go there when we visit my mom. Gemma is from with the Essex. Wendy is from Nottingham. Claire's from our Dorset. Uh, Sarah Hughes from Newark. So you always, <laughs> well, you always used to change. We always changed with us, right, in Newark. Yep. Ah, my mum from Lake Garda. <laughs> um, someone before asked where both of us were from. So I'm actually from Lake Garda, which is um, north of Italy. From a little town called Salò. Um, part part English as well. Um. Michaela from Leetonstone, uh, Simon Best from Ro Roches Rochester, Kent, Aviv is from Israel, um, Thomas from Dudley, oh, Sheridan is from Philly, North Yorkshire. Oh, okay. So I'm not sure, maybe I'm not saying it right, it's F-I-L-E-Y. Andy said, I've seen you at the Master Barbers. Oh, you see me? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, cool. Luba Schenkers from Blackpool. Johnny David from USA, Texas. Yes, Texas. Carlos is saying, love a blow dry. What's that? Car Carlos is saying, love, loving, loving blow dry. Gives more soften cuticles, gives more shine, brings out hair color with the right product. Good haircut. <laughs> mm -hmm. One or two products. Mm. 
Okay, moving along, guys. So, sorry it's taking a bit of time for blow drying, but I'm just getting in there. Carlos Diaz, he's 10 miles away from Tequila Paradise, Mexico, oh, wow. south of Texas. Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay, just moving along, as I, you see, I'm just really just kind of like, just making sure the blow dry. The blow dry has to be perfect, guys. And I'm gonna to just touch it up with the irons. The reason why, because then when I check my haircut, you know, if the blow dry is not perfect, the haircut can't be perfect. So, I'm just gonna raise this on up. Oh, I'm gonna raise this on up so you guys can see what I'm doing. And uh, make that make it a little bit easier for Jen to film. There we go. So just keep that a little bit longer, which is that asymmetric. But the internal area of the graduation will be balanced. All right. So I just want to make this a bit more interesting. Whoa. All right. So let me get the irons on, and then we're going to start doing a little ironing. We have uh, the most fabulous irons that we use. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, so. Aviv said after COVID come to Tel Aviv. I would love to go to Tel Aviv. You're not going, Jen. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Aviv invited me. I'm off. I'm going. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to use a bit of serum into the hair. So just put a little bit of serum. Now, I like to use it before I iron the hair just to help with the irons to slide right through. Cool. Cool. It's just like, you know, a little thing I like to do just to keep, you know, everything, um, just a bit more like, it just protects the hair, and gives it, and also just like locks in the shine. It's like a great little trick you can do. Um, and also what I also like to do, um, so when I'm uh, working on the hair, especially on dry hair, I tend to use more of like a wide tooth comb to hold the hair when I'm straightening iron it because it, uh, it really just helps. Let's go from here. It just helps one doesn't burn my fingers. Yeah. Are you sponsored for straightening? <laughs> my mom. <laughs> They're like Nikki Clark from like uh, boots, yeah, boots or Tesco's or whatever. Um, so it's uh, my mom's here. We can ask her, see yeah. what she says. Mom, where are the irons from? <laughs> I actually remember that I have a friend in Tel Aviv that has an academy. Oh, yeah, Udi hmm. Udi Biton. I don't know if Aviv, if you know him, is uh, both his dad was um, a teacher. He used to do like really big hair ups and um, and then I, I worked with uh, Udi and Tony and Guy and then when he went back he opened the academy, I think kind of followed after his dad. <clears throat> He's amazing. You um, might have to go there then. Mm, um, yes, my mum said they're from Boots. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, mum. Sid's very... Oh yes, Aviv does know Udi. <laughs> do you know Udi or do you know his dad? <clears throat> well, if you see him, say hi from me. <laughs> Haven't seen him for 15 years. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to continue, still taking sections when I iron it, just like the way I did the haircut. Okay. I'm really just focusing just on, on beveling or smoothing out the ends only. Oh, I've even said that will. <laughs> All right, so you can see, guys, it's just given with the with the serum in the hair. It just and when you iron it, it just look. It gives like a glass like finish. Okay, so it's like my little trick I like to do. So you're not burning the hair. You're not like uh, you're not like sizzling it like with hot oil or anything like that. And you see afterwards, I'm gonna really sharpen this line up here. Yeah, I can make it <coughs> nice and sharp. Jeremy said hello from France. 
Oh, from France, perfect. Yeah, we don't often have people from France. My mum said Carlo fixed them, as uh, you can see. <laughs> so guys, so if, uh, if you might see the, the irons catch on fire, it's Carlo's they fault. have some uh, electrical tape on them. So, uh, so keep in a video, keep in professional here. <laughs> the six <six-hour> sauce <laughs> Well, we'll soon get another pair. <laughs> when the start, when we have more stars. <laughs> yes. So guys, please help donate. Uh, let's keep this these free live video tutorials alive. Once again, we just need the donation to help us with the mannequin head fund. You know, because we have to use on so many mannequin heads. For example, last year I donated. Well, we did over a hundred live video tutorials, and that was a hell of a lot of mannequin heads, which I donated myself. Uh, once again, guys, so please help us out at the mm. bottom of your page. There should be the star button. All right, please donate some stars. I think they're one cent per star. So once again, guys, any bit of help, honestly, greatly appreciated. So please don't be shy. Hit the star button. Get some stars. Yeah, and I think the first ones are free, or they used to be at least when it first started. So just, just see what happens. Just try <clears throat> there we go. What do you guys think so far? Looking good. Oh, Carly said you will get one. I told you that before. A present from me, a hair straightener. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, guys. So I'm gonna get back to my hair cutting. Pretty. Okay, so I'm going to get back into my hair cutting. I'm going to put this in the scissors back pocket. What I sometimes do is that I might just before, uh, just to help, I might do a light hairspray over it, just to um, just to help with the cutting, and also when I'm going over the line here, it just helps. Um, it just really helps with the. Um, is controlling the hair. So. And also you'll see as well, I'm gonna be using my trimmers to help with smoothing out that line. So I'm gonna be using my Anders Slimline Pro, which is a limited edition one. So it's got the new design, so. Let's get this now. I'm going to raise this on up a little bit higher. Okay, the reason why to really kind of really focus on creating. There we go. Oh, we've just <laughs> said Jenna just did. We just said hi to Udi for me. Oh, yeah. tell him to come and see the live and I can say hi to him. <laughs> Carlos Diaz said you make hair cutting look so easy. He does, doesn't he? I tried doing that today and I couldn't even catch the hair when I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to do that. What I'm, what I'm doing is going over. So I'm going first straight cutting. Then I'm going to go back with my point of my scissors. The reason why you need to do with the point of your scissors is because if you keep on doing straight cutting, what happens is it just pushes the hair. All right. So that's why we need to just do with the point of your scissors. Then I can also refine. Hmm. I think it's quite nice with the Graduation here. Okay, so I'm gonna just back this up a little bit. Okay, I'm just gonna move this up here. Claire sent 50 stars. Uh, thank you, Claire. Once again, guys, those donations really help us out with getting, especially for the mannequin heads. That's all we're looking at. So I'm gonna lower this now, and I'm gonna work on the graduation internally. So what we're going to be doing, this is my little trick. 
I, I, I do this a lot in hair cutting, where especially what I do is I'll show me Jen this before. Mm, it's pretty really cool. So, well, it's almost like scissor over combing. So it's like scissor over combing the graduation, but with my fingers. Thank you, Carlos, for reminding everyone to share. Thank you. Please share these live video, guys. Once again, there's a lot of students out there, a lot of barbers and hairdressers that are maybe need to be motivated during these lockdown session, uh, lockdowns uh, throughout the UK and around the world. So once again, it's all about helping others. So please, even guys, even if you're struggling mentally and you just need someone, you know, if you need a little, you know, someone to talk to or, or guidance, please, you know, once again, Drop us a drop us a message, you know. We're not we're we tend to be very genuine people here. We're not, you know, um, we try and be uh, try and be helpful to others. That's our main reason right now in my life today is to help others. So I'm just going to continue with this. So I'm just see the timing. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, I need to crack on a little bit. <laughs> just doing a gen. Two hours. <laughs> and that was. And you only did the one side too. <laughs> yes, yeah, two hours. Well, you did one side too. Well, I'm doing the heavier side. <laughs> Cheeky little <bubble. laughs> I'm just zooming in on your face. It just now. <laughs> I'm zooming in on your face. Oh, okay. No, I'm joking. All right, so I'll continue. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, God bless you. <laughs> yeah, Jen's special, everyone. She's a, she's a special person. Your hat is not very useful for me. Those are getting in the way. Sorry. Sorry everyone, I'm trying to be trendy with my with my hat. It just gets in the way. <laughs> oh, I've even saying I'm looking for you, Jen. I'm here. I can see you. <laughs> Not very well, but I'm here. <laughs> Andy is saying awesome Sid, you are really making a difference. Oh. Carlos Dio saying, who inspired you to become a barber? Who inspired me? Um, to be honest with you, it was, um, uh, well, it was due to, due to my mom. Mom, it was my mom's suggestion for me to get a job, um, and the barbershop was hiring. And then what happened was it was the barbers inside, it was an all the time barbershop. And, uh, none of them spoke English pretty much. And they're all, the youngest barber there was 60 years old. And, uh, and you know what, it was, uh, I think as soon as I got in there, I just loved, especially the, the snip of the scissors, the buzz of the clippers, and, uh, you know, the banter, the way, you know, dealing with men, and it was just, you know, the most amazing experience, and then when I, when I worked, then when I worked to, when I worked at Sassoon, uh, what happened was, it was the, the creative mindset of these people that worked there, they were so, like, it was, it was like pure art, like artwork they were creating, and, uh, you know, it was absolutely amazing. So I think definitely, you know, it's nowadays, like, you know, I'm going more of the, like, going more of the creative realm. I mean, especially with teaching and also doing more, um, more education with uh, live video tutorials and doing more, more focusing on more creative work, um, if anything. So really, really focusing on that uh, at the moment. And that's why, you know, even with our... If, I still love my classics, and that's what you'll see in our book, uh, which is coming out later this year, which I'm really excited. So Jen has to remind me to finish it this week. <laughs> and uh, I will. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we need to get that book ready, and that that will be coming out later this year, and that will be uh, over 300 pages of uh, tutorials, so step by steps, and also um, really, I'm just really excited about it. To be honest with you. There you go, so just 
what I'm doing, guys. I'm just really kind of focusing on that graduation now. So I'm just going to lift this up a little bit higher. Oh, and then we're going to have to finish up soon. So, uh... We're keeping this going over the shape. Carly, has Jenny have a duty be his diary and discipline holder? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Carlos, I try. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Although <laughs> he's the one that wakes me up in the morning. I know. I, I actually had to force her out of bed uh, to do her yoga. And the whole time, like, and because doing yoga, you're supposed to be, like, you know, really at peace and, and med, you know, in a really nice state, calm state. She's sitting there screaming at me <laughs> to make true. her sleep. Um, and so you know, I wasn't necessarily happy about that. So, uh. <laughs> Yeah, so Jen's a bit cranky in the morning, everyone. So she's not so, uh... I'm not cranky. I just don't like waking up. Who do, Who likes waking up? Like, well, I do, because at least I know I'm uh, alive. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like waking up and knowing I'm alive, but I also like to nap. <laughs> like to snooze. Okay, guys, I'm going to have to stop now, because otherwise it's... Yeah, there we go. So we do... Shake it up, shake it up. See how that falls. Okay, shake it up. So you can see the way the shape's falling. Yes, Andy, me too. I like waking up in summer. Because currently it gets light at nine here, so I just can't be bothered. <laughs> okay, once again, just watching your elevation. So I'm going to lift this up just a tiny bit. So right now, this is not so I'm doing everything so technical. Once again, I lift, I comb, and I pick up, and I move like scissor or combing. I just want to just take that little extra weight off. I don't want it to be so heavy. But I'm not doing layering. I'm not doing layering. I still want that. All right, let me get some hairspray. I'm going to smooth it down. Alright guys, so I hope you uh, everyone's enjoying this uh, live video tutorial. Now once again, please don't don't be afraid to share. Please, it's just about when we share, it just goes out to all the other um, hairdressers and barbers out there in the world that are maybe struggling during lockdown. Especially, you know what, the students. Alright, the students that have stopped their qualifications, which is really upsetting. I know so many of them that have stopped their qualifications. And... Uh, you know, we really want to try and help help others, so. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to... Moving this up here. Well, a lot of times what I like to do, I sometimes... Stick his fingers together. <laughs> yep. <laughs> ah, Gemma Lee saying, shout out to the amazing learners. Yeah, we can't forget about guys. You know why? It's because the thing is, we all start off as beginners. Sorry, all you experts out there, yes, you all had to do your very first haircut, you know, and we all had to make mistakes, you know, and, and that's the key thing. That's why I love teaching young, you know, beginners, because it reminds me, it keeps me grounded that, uh, you know, we're not perfect, you know, we all have to start somewhere. So it, uh, it's definitely something that uh, I strongly, you know, recommend. It's about helping others and teaching others. And I'm 
fill with my trimmers there, just sharpen up that line. Johnny David said, why is it when I see you doing that cut, it looks nice and easy, but the book makes it look so damn hard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, because you know what, I've, I've probably done this haircut so many times. I think also hairdressing has is, got is a lot to do with practice, so it's quite hard to learn it from a book until you get your hands in. Mm. So very difficult to explain, I think, without yeah, practice. It's all, it's all about practice. You know, I mean, I had to practice this so many times. I had to screw this haircut up so many times. I mean, funny enough, I did this haircut on my sister when I first started doing hair, and she had a perm. And I remember doing it in my mom's kitchen. Yeah, and then what happened was, when uh, I screwed it up, I, you know, uh, you know, typical bloke, you know, we, we, when we're in trouble, we scream for our mom to help us. But the problem was, my mom wasn't a hairdresser or a barber. What the hell would she be able to do? <laughs> and yeah, so my sister always reminds me how much I screwed her hair up. Um. Shay Show Manuel said, Sid, you did it again. Good job. Oh, thank you guys. <laughs> Carla said, is that is like architecture in hair? <laughs> yes, and that's what we wanted trying to achieve or to strive for. Because it's about like building a building. And it's like, you know, you need the foundation, the shape. Darren, Darren Stewart said, I'm highly confident I'll do well with my mum when the time comes. Good, that's what I like to hear, Darren. <laughs> Good luck, mate. Just don't screw it up. I don't like to mess with a, with a Scottish woman. So <laughs> don't screw up her hair. And don't blame it on me if you screw up. Claire says, amazing finish, Sid Sutton. Oh, thank you. All right, guys, so I'm going to have to... Carlos said, hair is like architecture. I think that's what he meant. Yes. <laughs> okay, just finishing up right here. Sorry, guys. I'm not going to lie. I always want the hair to look perfect for you guys. What are you guys eating tonight? I want to know. I'm hungry. <laughs> While well, Sid finishes. <laughs> It'll be another 20 minutes. <laughs> Johnny David says she looks beautiful. Does she have a boyfriend? <laughs> uh, what, the model or Jennifer? <laughs> the model. <laughs> the mannequin. No one can see me. I'm secret. Yeah, she's a sick, that's where we like it. Gemma said, not vegan. <laughs> Darren said, I always like, like hair sculpting. Yeah, it's just... Kebab. Andy's having kebab. Oh my God, last night we had a vegan kebab, like, meat. It was really, really good. Like, so good. I haven't had a real kebab for years, but I liked it. Okay, everyone, so this is my finished result here. Okay, so this is my graduated bomb. Okay, so working. First, start off the haircut, working inside the fingers, working at a 45 degree angle and then start pivoting the sections like a pizza pie, yeah? Going like this, having my hands like this with my fingers pointing straight to the direction you want to go in and then building up the shape, all right? Continuing taking diagonal sections. Head. Sorry. Taking diagonal sections, going this way, higher elevation here and gradually getting lower and lower, all right? Then I blow dry. And then that's when I refine the shape. So, yeah, just gonna just. There we go. Sorry. Told you guys. <laughs> evil woman. <laughs> an evil, evil woman. Everyone, she's not a nice person. Just to pre warn you. 
All right, guys, and then of course, just finishing off, I used a blow dry spray, okay? And of course, I use serum for blow drying, just to, just to really promote healthiness and shine. Then, the key thing is I used a very flat brush. Um, I used a flat brush for blow drying. The reason why is I don't want to, I don't want to give any root movement, uh, I want to create root movement, and not um, artificial um, uh, setting of the hair with a round brush. Then I just smooth it out with the irons just on the ends only, and then just finish it off with a little hairspray and just a touch of serum on, on the top, as well as like a gloss, right? Kind of like, almost like the way the ice would be nice and shiny, so. All right, everyone, so once again, guys, please start sharing these live video tutorials, please, to just help promote us, and because we'll be doing free live uh, education. We're gonna be doing men's cutting, barbering, fading. Yeah, the next one is gonna be men's cutting and really focusing on clipper work. And then uh, we will be doing uh, coloring videos as well, and also African Caribbean texture. Yeah, we did an Afro the other couple of days ago, which was really exciting. And uh, yeah, we're gonna keep them, uh, keep on going about three or four a week and keep everyone inspired. So also guys, if you wanna help donate money to the funds, if you wanna do a donation, please, if you hit the star button, you can donate, it's uh, one cent per star. So please start donating some stars. They help us buy these mannequin heads, all right? And then we're able to provide free live video education to everyone on the land of Facebook. So, all right, everyone. So I want to say a big thank you to all of you. Are there any last minute questions or anything, Jen? Anything I need um, to know? No, no questions. Um, just what people are eating. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm asking about your professional hair. You have our eating. Let's talk about hair. <laughs> Um, yes, yeah, just uh, Carla saying thanks, Sid, Sid and Jen. Karen saying thanks, Sid. Aviv saying thank you, Jen and Sid. Luba Schenker saying thank you, Sid. Um, and Angel Lee saying wicked. Gemma saying thanks for sharing. Um, Claire saying thank you, Sid. You are amazing. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. The, uh, once again, guys, it was really beneficial for myself because the thing is, it's, uh, you know, you're helping me do something I cannot have done by myself. You know, I'm able to share my strength, my hope and experience with all of you. And hopefully, you know, it was just maybe one of you that I've been watching that just puts out a little bit of, you know, a spark of inspiration and motivation in you with your careers. You know, it's a job well done then. But thank you very much. Thank you uh, very much for letting me take you through this haircut journey. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, I just absolutely enjoyed it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. A big thank you to, ca uh, to my wonderful camera person, Jennifer, who also was uh, asking the questions and also videoing and also taking the piss out of me. <laughs> and, uh, you know, thank you very much, Jennifer. I really appreciate it. I'm very welcome. grateful for all your help. <laughs> all right, everyone. So please, thank you so much for anyone that donated stars. And we will see you uh, soon for your next live video tutorial. All right, so the next one will be focusing on clipper work. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.